Hey writers, so today I'm going to be talking to you about the writer's notebook and this strategy that I'm going to teach you is called I Remember. So I want you to think about what pops into your head when you hear the words I Remember. For me, it's thinking about all my different memories. Now I might not think about the same memory every day and that's okay because my memories are what create my present and I think that that is just so cool and a lot of writers use their past to write about different things, whether that's fiction that they model off their past or nonfiction writing an autobiography for instance. So what we're gonna learn about is how to think about the past and how it can write the present and you're gonna watch me as I try the strategy and you're gonna try to understand why I'm doing certain things and don't worry I'll try to explain them and then you're gonna try this strategy in your own writer's notebook and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and I'm sure your teachers can't wait either. So let's think about this. What are some of your fondest memories and what are some of your not so good memories? What pops into your head when you hear that? Let me just show you some of mine. So some good memories are when my family got our puppy, her name is Coco, and I was seven years old. Just to give you a frame of reference, I'm 21 now and Coco just turned 13 in May. Um, going to Disney World with my family, we've gone on this vacation a lot of times and it is my favorite vacation because of all of the memories. We still talk about it and it's just like the best part of my childhood. My sisters and I are actually going to go this December and I cannot wait to make that memory with the two of them. Another amazing memory is just going um, and taking my grandmother out to lunch and just talking with her. She tells me stories about her past, which is another thing. She tells me about her memories, which is so awesome. And I just love spending that quality time with her. Some bad memories are the times that I got in trouble in elementary school for talking when I wasn't supposed to. Happened quite a few times, but that's okay. I learned and grew from it. Um, my friend who moved to Colorado last week, I miss her a lot, but I'm so glad we have technology so I can FaceTime her. And when I did not do so great on a quiz in high school, so from that I learned that I should study. If you see here on the right, there's the list that I wrote um, just by hand, but I decided to type it up just so you guys could read it a little better. And it's not, there we go. So how do you talk about a memory? Like when someone says like, oh, like what, tell me about the time you like went to the beach or tell me about a uh, second grade. You start with, I remember. Or if you're talking to a friend who was also there, you could say, hey, do you remember the time that we, so do you see how you use the word remember when you're talking about memories? That's really important. So let's try it. Can you list some of your memories, good or bad? Let's use a page in your writer's notebook and talk about that now. Why don't you pause the video and just write for a minute or two minutes. You can set a timer or you can just write for a little bit and when you feel like you've got a good list of good or bad memories or you can make a list of either, why don't you come back to the video? Hey, so you're back. I can't wait to hear all of your memory lists. Now, I want you to pick one that has a lot of emotion attached to it. So why don't you go down the list and think about the one that causes the most feelings for you. Got it? You can circle it, highlight it, star it, whatever you want. Now let's flip to another page in our writer's notebooks and write down the words I remember. You can write these really big, you can write them really fun. This is the start of your writer's notebook. This is the prompt. Now remember the memory that you highlighted on your list. I want you to go ahead and you can pause the video and set a timer for maybe seven or eight minutes and write about that memory for the whole time. Write whatever you can remember about that memory. Make sure to try, try to include as much emotion as possible. Hey, so you're back. I can't wait to see all about it. So how did it go? Here's mine right here on the right. So I'm gonna talk about the time that my family got our puppy Coco. So my first sentence is, I remember driving through the mountains asking where we were going my second sentence is, our parents were taking us to a surprise. Do you see how I used I remember and then used a hook and I talked about my emotions for like what the surprise is going to be later in the story? You're like, oh, she's going to be surprised. What about? I don't know. And then my last sentence says, I loved her from the first time I held her and I can't imagine a more perfect childhood pet. So that is where I circled something in my entry that I would really like and want to write more about. So I feel like I could write more about Coco being my childhood pet than just the time that I got her. So that could be another entry. And that's what I'm saying here. So why don't you pause the video for maybe 30 seconds or a minute and go through your story and circle the best part that you think could be a different story later on. Hey, so you're back. How did that go? 
So what do you think about this strategy? Do you think it was fun writing about your memories? Do you think it was hard? Was it hard for you to come up with something that had a lot of emotion? Maybe you just don't remember a lot of like emotional times because everything is emotional, like everything that is really awesome or everything is kind of difficult. Like, did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know. I had so much fun doing this with you guys. Thank you. So next time, think about this. Oftentimes, writers will somehow include their own experiences in their writing. So next time you're stuck thinking about what to write about in your writer's notebook, try saying to yourself, I remember, and then write about whatever pops into your head. Because remember, it's probably going to be different every time.